We looked at health information and how it influences taste perception. We wanted to see if providing participants with information regarding health benefits or the health risks of chocolate would influence how they tasted the chocolate and perceived it. We looked at how they rated it on sweetness, bitterness, uh, the fat content, pleasantness, and likability. And what we did is we gave the participants an article to read about the health benefits or risks either before or after they tasted chocolate. And we had them rate all the scales. As you can see, here's our scales of what we did. Um, and then what we found. Um, our results that we found were there was really no effect of timing on the experiment. Whether or not we present the information before or after the experiment really had no effect. Mostly type, which is what we predicted in the first place. They got the health information article. Then when they rated the chocolate, they rated it as more beneficial to health and lower fat content. The people that had the healthy condition article, they actually more of the chocolate than the people that had the unhealthy article. And so our predictions were correct in that sense. The only effect we had on timing was participants that had the chocolate, who read the health information before tasting chocolate. They rated the chocolate as sweeter, but we said that was just time delay, that you know, as they rated it later, the sweetness in their mouth would decrease. Our results were actually correct, and we had some main effects. These just represent the mean uh, differences in the health benefits and health risks. Uh, they rated it as higher fat content in the health benefits, which is what we predicted. In the health information, we didn't say anything about fat content, but we found that participants in the healthy, in the healthy situation rated it as lower in fat. And so it was interesting to see that people made a connection between fat content and health without being primed to this at all. Our study is in line with other research about consumption. The healthier people perceive food to be, they will in fact eat more.